Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Natalie and I am an environmental engineering student. I actually am coming to you from the feature of this video because I want to start off the video with kind of a little introduction to what I do as an engineering student. And so I actually made this TikTok. So I'm going to go ahead and insert it here. Hi, it's Natalie. I'm a graduate student at the University of New Mexico. My research is primarily focused on atmospheric water capture, just removing moisture from the air and turning it into drinking water. And one of the technologies that we use are dehumidifiers. And we just ordered some, so I'm actually headed to campus right now to go pick them up. This is my advisor, Dr. Anjali Multandani. We're picking up the dehumidifiers right now and taking them to the lab. Discovering a present underneath all the wrapping material. <laughs> dehumidifier! Natalie's taking apart one of the dehumidifiers. Cheers! Funny enough, I'm literally wearing the same exact outfit but it's like months later. <laughs> I filmed that back in like, I don't know, May and started July. So I wanted to show you that because that's the research that I'm doing. And I feel like in just like 60 seconds, it kind of explains the work that I'm doing and what you'll see me kind of researching throughout the week. This is only a four day week because Monday was a holiday. So it was just a short week and yeah, stick around because uh, we have fun. So enjoy it and I'll see you guys at the end of this video. Today I've already started off a meeting in the morning. I've started working and it's 10 o'clock right now. I'm going to go ahead and start journaling because this is something that I used to do kind of often and then I've totally stopped recently and I can kind of notice a difference when I stop. I feel like I'm not as determined. I don't set goals for the month and I realize that that's important to me so I should really start doing it again. <laughs> Today I'm going to campus. I don't actually go to campus very often, but every now and then I have meetings one-on-one -on -one with my advisor that are in person. Typically we like to meet via Zoom and I figured I might as well show you all the campus and I'll even show you the lab that I work in. I feel like I always have to jaywalk because it is never a good crosswalk, but I made it to campus. It's 2.45 and my meeting's at 3 o'clock, so just in time. Wrapping up now and I'm gonna leave because I just finished my meeting with my advisor, but I wanted to show you the lab before I left and this is what it looks like. I don't spend a lot of time here. The people who spend the most time here are the high school interns that are working for UNM this summer. They're actually doing most of the work with the dehumidifiers. I'm doing a lot of the research components for my paper, which I will be using their data, but they're doing the more hands-on work. But let me show you my office really quick. And it's pretty cute. It's small, like tiny. I share it with a few other grad students. So it's nice every now and then to do some work aside from being at home all the time. I'm going back to my car because my parking expired like already 40 minutes ago, but that's fine. I really don't think I'll get a ticket. My meeting ran late and that's why I just made it to my car just now, but oh well, I didn't get a ticket, so that's good. This is the end of my day in terms of schoolwork. I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm going to eat dinner, and that's it for today. Okay, I've already started my day and it's been pretty good. I went on a run this morning with my sister. We went around 7.30 a.m. I also ran a few errands, took my car to the car wash, 
went to the UPS store, and then I came back, took a shower. But I think it's time for me to do my to-do list, which is what I either do the night before or just like during the day. So let me show you guys how I do this. I actually use my reminders app on my iPhone, which I swear is the most un... <clears throat> what the... What's the word? Undeserved, unrelated, unhyped, underrated. That's it. I swear it's the most underrated app on the iPhone. Everyone likes to use the notes app, but I really like the reminders app. But anyways, I already completed a few things so I can go ahead and mark those off. And so I just have a few more things that I wanna get done. And I just thought I would show you guys this app because I literally use it for so many other things. I use it for grocery lists. I use it for shopping lists. I use it for places that I wanna go eat at, that kind of stuff. I'm back from the gym and I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. I didn't get anything done today in terms of my research and lately I just kind of been feeling really unproductive. Today was one of those days where I had full intentions to do um, research and to work on my school and that sort of stuff but I just didn't get to it and it's already the end of the day. It's five o'clock and I kind of just want to wind down before I leave again uh, to go play ultimate frisbee and that's okay I'm going to try and complete it all tomorrow it's not a ton that I need to get done but it is something that I do need to dedicate at least two hours to which in the grand scheme of everything it's not that long I just need to sit down and literally just sitting down and starting is always the hardest part for me but it happens and I always end up getting it done one way or another. Just wanted to check in with you all. That's where my mind's at. I'm coming at you in the afternoon because this morning I literally just did nothing <laughs> besides one meeting with uh, one of my supervisors at work and other than that I really have not done anything and I had like the same thing like full intentions to do a ton of work and a ton of schoolwork but it just didn't happen and I'm forcing myself to get ready which I've gotten ready I did not do my makeup you know what like forget it but I got ready I wore like a somewhat cute top I am forcing myself to go to campus again and since I have a desk there I'm going to do some schoolwork and I'm not gonna use my phone. I'm not gonna let other distractions get the best of me and I'm just going to try and focus for three and a half hours, which really is not that long and just go all the way until five because five o'clock is when I wanna leave and go to the gym. So it's been a few hours later and did I get everything done? No, but I actually did force myself to sit down and do work and it's like the thing with research is that you're never actually going to find the right answer. You're going to just get a little bit closer to the answer and so that's kind of what today was all about was just like literally researching until I kind of had an idea of what it is I'm looking for, so I don't exactly have the answer yet, but I'm closer than I was before, and that's all that matters. I'm actually going back to my car because I'm headed to the gym now, and let's go. Hello. I'm in a much better mood today because it's not one, and I've actually done stuff with my day. I just realized that I need to give myself more credit than I do because I like tear myself down and I tell myself I'm just like such a bad procrastinator and I feel like unproductive all day um, and I need to stop doing that and I want you to also know that you need to stop doing that if you do do that. It's just so hard and I beat myself up about it like on a daily and oftentimes I don't do anything about it and I continue procrastinating and scrolling on my phone and avoiding work as much as I can 
but I mean this week even though it was a short week I just like deleted Instagram from my phone and I just was like all right we're gonna be very mindful of all the things that I do to distract me and like call myself out on it and just tell myself stop what you're doing I guess I took initiative this week on deleting Instagram off my phone which is like the number one app that I use the most and then it ends up just tearing me down you just see everyone's highlight reel I'm also part of that like I obviously post like the good stuff but I want my YouTube channel to be more of like the real hard side of me where it's not always like picture perfect and I don't always look picture perfect my skin is not always clear and my life is not actually really put together at all <laughs> but like I try and I try to stay motivated and I try to um, be as smart as I can but like in reality sometimes I just feel like I'm I'm not cut out for my work. I just feel like, how am I in this position? Because I don't feel smart enough. But if you feel like that, you're not the only one. Like, you're really not the only one. The people I talk to that are in the same kind of area as me, we all feel really similar in that way. And just know that it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But that's my rant. Post workout, I'm super sweaty, <laughs> like dripping in sweat. I wanted to include this little snapshot of my life in this video because the gym is something that I do like literally six days a week, so almost every day, and it's just part of my life. So I always make time for a workout, um, no matter how busy I am. I love working out. It's like a stress reliever for me. Um, it took me a long time to say that though. I'll face it towards me because I'm like one-on-one -on -one chatting with you, but it really did take me a long time to say that and to say that I like working out and that I enjoy it and that actually relieves stress. For a while there I felt so lost and I didn't know what I liked and I just went to the gym because I knew I had to. But once I found something that I liked, I really stuck with it and now I love CrossFit. And it's, it, might, it might not be CrossFit for you, it might be like spinning or Pilates or kickboxing, but for me it's, it's CrossFit. So whatever class or whatever workout that gets you really motivated, just stick with it. Remember that it does you well, it helps your body, it helps your mind, and it's super refreshing. So that's my little note for today, but I'm going to head back home and do a little bit of work and also eat some lunch because your girl needs to eat. So, talk to you soon. All right, so I am here again at the end of the video and I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and um, I really appreciate you guys enjoying my content. I really like making videos about the research and the work that I do as an engineering student and I know that a lot of you guys really enjoyed my last environmental engineering video. So that makes me so happy that it's already gotten like 3K views and I had no idea. So I know that there is this need for more female STEM engineers that are in that field. And kind of explain to you guys what we do because it's very different all around. But I hope you enjoyed and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because there's gonna be way more content on all the research that I'm doing because we're just getting started. So I will talk to you soon. Thanks again. Ciao.